So you may be asking yourself, wait, what am I doing back here again? What's going on? Why is there a second video? That's because, guess what? Your guys' Christmas present wasn't just one battle with my new team! So now that the cat's out of the bag, let's get to it! Look at my opponent's team. It is fairly threatening. I mean, you've got Diggersby, you've got Aegislash, Mamoswine, Gardevoir. Gardevoir, potential Mega. Mamoswine can set up hazards. Aegislash, it's an Aegislash. And Diggersby, massive power. I don't know if it's... Uh, Scarf, Bandit, Agility, I don't know what it's running, that's what makes it so fearsome. And I know there are some people that would disagree with me, but you know what, that's my opinion. And also worth noting, he has a Politoed, which I haven't seen since 5th Gen, so this is going to be interesting to see how he incorporates it into his team. So without further ado, let's get to the battle! So my opponent in this battle is Tyler, we set up this battle through, well actually I didn't even set it up through Skype, I just like PM'd him, uh, challenged him a bunch on my 3DS and he finally accepted a battle. He's going to lead off with his Diggers Beat, as I lead off with my Rotom Heat, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp straight off as he goes for the turn. It still does a pretty good amount of damage, but you know what? Burned, I don't have to worry about it anymore. As he switches out into his Let It Be, his Politoed, as I switch out into my Escavalier, and I'm a little afraid of the Scald, but you know what? I have got massive attack, even if I get burned, this is doing massive damage. Mega Horn, almost pure one-shot, I mean, jeez. Um, this should have been my first indicator that this was not offensive. The You'll see what I mean. That should have been an indicator. Just like, keep it, keep that in the back of your mind. So, I'm going to switch into my Noivern to try and revenge kill as he goes into his Aegislash, but I'm going to have to pull back, go into my Rotom as he pulls back, goes into his Diggersby. As I try and trick the Aegislash, however, I just end up swapping Scarves with the Diggersby, which is a little annoying, but I can't really complain that much. So, knowing I can't Volt Switch, I'm going to have to go into my Chestnut as he can just U-turn because I was faster. That's uh, kind of unfortunate for running a max speed set against a Diggersby. Um, I can't Volt Switch against it, so yeah. So I switch into my Chestnut as uh, he pulls out into his Gardevoir, Mega Evolves, and I go into my Scavalier, which is going to do nice, nice amounts of damage to this thing. He goes for the Moon Blast, which is uh, not going to do much at all. It does a little bit, but not much. And goes for the Will-O-Wisp, son of a bitch. I can't believe this guy actually had Will-O-Wisp. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Mega Horn still going to do over 50%, which is really, really nice. I mean, a Scavalier putting in work. And here, I should have predicted the switch, I should have gone for the, um, the, uh, uh, pursuit, but I just didn't think about it at the time. So, he switches in his Aegislash, and thinking that my Scavalier Burn is not really going to be that much help anymore, since it can't really take any more hits and I'm getting the residual damage, I switch out into my, um, I leave it in for fodder, go into my Noivern, as he goes into his Politoed, and I try and switch through the, the Aegislash, however, I end up giving him a Choice Scarf, which lets him outspeed me and kill me with an Ice Beam. What the fuck? Why are people running Offensive Politoed now? Come to find out, people are running Offensive Politoed now because the defensive set wasn't that good, and they only ran it so that way they could keep their weather up, uh, according to the Canadian Wi-Fi and uh, maybe like one or two more other, other people, I can't remember. Uh, so I go into my Maul while Mega Evolves, he goes into Aegislash, thinking it's pretty good counter, which I'm guessing it kind of was, and I go into my uh, Manda Buzz which is my uh, counter to Aegislash, really anything physical, it's a pretty good counter. Well, maybe not counter sometimes, sometimes it's just a check. And uh, I go for the foul play as he goes for King Shield, which is annoying, but you know, it's no, not that big a deal. And uh, he's going to try and do some damage with Sacred Sword, but you know what? It's just not going to work out. My Mandibus is too bulky. You, ju you can't handle this, Aegislash. Go, get out. And uh, I decided to switch out into Rotom on the um, predicted King Shield. And I'm going to actually double out back into my Mandibuzz as I predict him to switch out, and he goes into his uh, Diggersby. Now, I'm a little worried here from because, you know, it's a Diggersby, and it's just going to U-turn shenanigans, which it does. And uh, I'm not... I, it does, like, nothing, but he's able to go into his uh, Pangoro, which, you know what? I'm glad I went for the Brave Bird instead of Foul Play, because it would have been, like, quad-resisted. And plus, thanks to that crit, I'm going to be... Well, actually, the crit didn't really matter. It's like, uh, the new mechanic makes it 1.5 damage, so um, since that did about half, I'm pretty sure I would have just 2 it KO'd it with the Brave Bird, so no big deal. And uh, down goes Pangoro pretty easily. He switches into his Gardevoir, and I can't let this thing stay in on a Gardevoir. So I switch out into Rotom as he goes for the Moonblast, and uh, thankfully I am still Scarfed, which means I'm going to be able to do some na massive damage. He goes into his Politoed, Drizzle happens, which is annoying, but it's only going to last five turns thanks to me getting rid of that damp rock, so I guess Noivern did something in this battle. 
I go for the overheat, which is thankfully going to be enough to just finish it off as he goes back into his Gardevoir. And I'm going to need to pull out, I'm going to go into my Jaws, and he goes for the Psychic, which is pretty much going to do nothing, and he's going to willow with me, but I'm not that worried considering I need to get this thing out of the way. It's been a pain in my ass, and it needs to go. So, Mega Mawile putting in work, knocking out Gardevoirs, and he's going to go into his They Call Me Heft. As he, he sets up the Stealth Rocks, I'm going to go for the Iron Head, which, even though I'm burned, that just does massive damage, almost one-shots the thing. And he's going to pull back, go into his Titania as I go for the Sucker Punch, but my whole goal here is that I know that I'm going to get knocked out. And the whole, I actually put some Speed EVs into my, uh, into my, uh, thing my uh ah, wow my maw wild just so i can go for sucker punch and out speed the uh Aegis slash neutral no speed investment so that actually worked kind of well for me he, but uh it's not it's not gonna be enough jaws is gonna go down to the shadow sneak and burn damage as i go into my mandibuzz go for the defog because i need to get that that ah, those rocks out of here so i'm gonna go for the roost and he's gonna try and do some damage with sacred sword and you know even with super effective, it just does nothing. I'm able to roost off that damage like it's nothing. So he's going to go into his shield form now, which, you know what, not going to be enough. I'm just going to keep going for the roost till I'm at full HP. I know your Mammoth Swine is still alive. I need to be at full if that thing comes in. So here he does kind of a douchey move and goes for the King Shield twice, which, you know, if it happened, I would have been cursing, but it really shouldn't have happened anyway. So he goes for Icicle Crash, and you know what? Not gonna be enough. That's not from that. Looking at that, that's barely a two hit KO, just barely. And after lefties, probably not. So I'm gonna knock him out with a foul play. As well, I just knock it out for the foul with the foul play. He goes into his Diggersby, goes for the Stone Edge. It's gonna do nothing. I'm gonna go for the Brave Bird, considering foul play won't work with huge power apparently. So that's uh, kind of a down uh, downside to that. But these uh, Brave Birds are gonna be enough to knock him out after this hit. He goes for Stone Edge. Gonna leave me with one HP. I'm going to go for the bray, or the foul play this time, knock him out, and win the battle. Be sure to check out the artists that make these videos possible, guys. Also, like and subscribe if you happen to like the video. Or if you'd like some help recording your X and Y battles, shoot me a PM on YouTube or Skype, and I'll get back to you.